So I will quickly demonstrate the reconciliation process with OpenRefine. And um, for OpenRefine, the reconciliation actually means to match the uh, textual values in a data set to uh, unique identifiers in a control vocabulary or a data repository like Wikidata. So by doing that, uh, the reconciliation actually transform the uh, textual values uh, in the data sets to uh, an entity with a, a URI so that it makes much more sense to the machine because uh, the machine will no longer recognize the values as just merely um, uh, character strings but an entity with a URI and they actually can look them up through the URI. So here I will just uh, use the uh, small data sets as example uh, to reconcile it, the value in it against the Wikidata. So here is the uh, starting interface of the OpenRefine. There are multiple ways you can import the data. Uh, here we just import uh, the small data sets from a local file uh, and uh, you click next uh, there will be a pre preview of the data sets uh, so you can visually inspect to, uh, the data to see if they display uh, correctly uh, here we see some issues, uh, encoding issues actually. So for this data set, we actually need to uh, use the UTF-8 as the encoding standard. Uh, so now you can see the um, displaying problems are fixed. Then we can just create a project. Okay, here is the uh, view a view of uh, the data sets. We can switch to 25 rows. Actually, we only have 25 rows here. And uh, we can see uh, this is a data set of a modern art collection. Uh, the It contains uh, five columns. The title columns is the... Uh, contains the, co uh, the name of the paintings and uh, the artist column is the the creator and there is the year column genre and location uh, so we'll just use the title column as example to reconcile the values uh, in this column to the uh, wikidata so we can just start by Clicking the uh, triangle and uh, go to reconcile and start reconciling. Uh, usually, when you first install the uh, OpenRefine, the Wikidata Wikida comes installed by default. The uh, so, but for other reconciliation services, you need to uh, add them manually. So here we can just pick uh, the Wikidata reconciliation service. And then the OpenRefine will actually uh, out, uh, automatically detect what kind of, uh, what type of entity in your column. Uh, for uh, us, uh, they are all paintings, so uh, we'll leave it there as default. But uh, if it's not, you can choose uh, from this list. Um, to uh, actually match what kind of entity, what type of entity in your column. If you cannot find in this um, in this list, you can just specify what type of entity in your column in your column here. And uh, if you have uh, like multiple type uh, of entities in the columns, you can just uh, check the 
you can sell against no particular type. So now we just uh, leave it as default. And the next step is to decide if you want to include other uh, the, the values in other columns to facilitate the pro uh, reconciliation process. Uh, for example, there may be uh, paintings that has the same title but created by different uh, authors, by different artists. So we can use the value in the artist column uh, to disambiguate and get more reliable matches matches so here we can just include the art uh, the values in the artist value as the uh, creator um, so then we can just click the start reconciliation button button the open refine um, will process three rows per second um, but that actually also um, determined the by the uh, capacity of, of the machine I think uh, it takes it won't takes very long because we only have uh, 25 rows so um, just wait a little bit more Okay, all right, so now we can see the result. Uh, we first can see here there are uh, eight values uh, um, matched, being matched, and uh, the other 17 uh, are not. And we can also see from here, the green bar actually indicates the percentage of the matched values. Here we have 33% of the values uh, are matched. So uh, basically there are uh, three kinds of results uh, of the from the reconciliation. Uh, the first one, the first kind of results is like this one. The text is in blue and there is actually a link uh, to the uh, entity in Wikidata. So it means that uh, this value is actually matched with high confidence and uh, uh, when you click on it it will actually goes to the Wikidata item page about this paintings uh, so the second kind of results is like this uh, basically the text is in black but the open refund actually uh, provides uh, uh, provides several candidates, each one with uh, uh, its match score like this. Uh, so basically, in this situation, you need to check uh, the candidates and make a decision uh, based on your judgment. For example, if I think this one will be the match, you can just uh, click match this cell and as you can see the text uh, becomes blue and uh, become uh, transformed to a uh, link to the an uh, item page in Wikidata and uh, okay uh, let's go back if you didn't find any uh, any of the candidates a uh, match you can uh, search for the match manually uh, this could happen when the uh, the title maybe that there be uh, alternative title for this painting or there are some varieties in typings so that you can type um, the type like a different name for this painting and uh, find a match so we will not do that for this one 
Um, and the third option is to uh, create new create new new item. When you click it, you can see this uh, this record is marked with a new. So the benefits of a, of this is that um, all the at, at the end all these kind of uh, records can be used to reconcile against uh, other control vocabularies. So if like if the, you cannot find any match in this vocabulary, you can just mark mark it, and then you. Um, uh, reconcile the all these kind of values to other uh, vocabulary later. Okay, uh, then uh, the third kind of results is like this. Basically, the text is in black and there are no candidates provided. So that only left you leaves you uh, two options. Uh, the, the first one is the, is to search for match manually just uh, like uh, we did uh, just now and then the last one is to create a new new item uh, so that's basically the three kinds of results we can get from the reconciliation and uh, uh, since we have some reconcile values we can actually uh, extract the URI uh, for uh, URI of these values from the wiki data. So to do that, we just need to uh, click on the triangle and uh, go to edit co add column and uh, select uh, add column based on this column. Uh, So we can uh, just type a name for the new column. We can just call it um, URI. And then we um, need to copy the um, uh, and paste the, this expression uh, in the expression field. And then we can see for the reconciled values, the, um, the URI has already uh, been uh, been extracted here, so we click OK. So now, as you can see, there will be a new column, and all these uh, reconciled values will have uh, their URI listed. And uh, when we actually go to uh, we see the item page for the uh, the painting for example this one we can see uh, there are other kind of other statements about this uh, paintings uh, location uh, all kinds of uh, uh, property and uh, property value pairs so since uh, it has been con reconciled with this item page uh, actually, we can extract uh, extract these um, uh, the, these statements and uh, add them add them to our uh, data sets. So to do that, we can just click the triangle, add column, and uh, add columns from reconciled values. So as we can see, we can choose. Uh, like for example, height of the paintings and width, and uh, we can see it has been showed here, and we click OK. Yeah, then we can see there are two new columns added. It, uh, first one is height, the second one is width. Um, we can by doing this, we just uh, enriched our data sets by extracting more data from uh, the wiki data uh, based on the reconciled values. Yeah, then uh, we can choose a format here to export the new data sets and then the reconciliation process is finished.